We have a car insurance epidemic going on at the moment. Now, with the increase of cost of living all across the world, the UK is particularly bad, but I'm, I'm told it's the same almost anywhere in the world. Car insurance seems to be one of the things that's been hit the hardest. So that thumbnail you saw is a actual renewal that I found on Reddit with an extra years of no claims bonus, with an extra years of driving experience. Their insurance renewal had gone up more than 100% compared to last year. So what I thought I'd do is put together a list of the top things that helped me beat my renewal price and get cheap car insurance. Whether you've been driving 10, 15 years and you're looking to renew your insurance or you're literally getting your first car, these tips will be beneficial to all of you. Now I want to be very, very clear. This video will not give you any tips that are illegal, incorrect, there's no fronting here. I'm not gonna be talking about insuring the car in your mum's name and then putting yourself as a name driver or any of this rubbish. I'm gonna give you legitimate tips to decrease your insurance while making sure that you actually have correct cover on the car you're driving. During this video, I am actually going to give direct examples of quotes using these tips so you can see that the tips do actually work. I've got a baseline here. You've got a 21 year old looking to insure a white Vauxhall Corsa 1.2 at an address in London. This is basically the worst case scenario and I'm gonna show you that you can reduce this premium heavily. So my first tip, and I can't believe more people don't know about this, is the fact that you need to set your insurance start date 21 days in the future. This is just an anecdote, but what I found is for whatever reason, insurance that starts on a Sunday seems to be cheaper. Set your start date for your insurance 21 days in the future at the nearest Sunday that's after 21 days. There's a very clear reason for this. It's because if you're setting your insurance to start tomorrow, that means you have to have insurance. You're desperate for insurance. Insurers know this and they increase the cost of the insurance based on how desperate you are. This is our original baseline and literally all we're gonna do is come to here to a Sunday that's about four weeks in the future. Ta-da! If you think in terms of percentages, we've reduced the price by 33%. Now, if your insurance quote is a reasonable let's say 800 pounds, you've just slashed your price down to 550. Apply this everywhere. This tip is honestly my favorite one. It will definitely benefit those who are looking to insure their first car, but also if you're flexible with what car you drive or in your, you're in the market for a new car, this could really help you too. What you want to do is find an unusual car. It sounds a bit strange, but there's a bit of logic to this one too. Insurance is all based on statistics. So if you're trying to insure a Vauxhall Corsa 1.2, there's probably half a million people also trying to insure a 1.2 Vauxhall Corsa in white with the limited edition body kit. So those are the cars that have been crashed the most. The Vauxhall Corsas, the Ford Fiestas, the Volkswagen Golfs, the Volkswagen Polos, all the most common cars are always surprisingly dear to insure they've been crashed the most because they're the most common on the road. So what you want to do is find a car that's unusual. I've got a great example of this and what I did for my first legitimate year of driving. My very first year of driving, I bought a Honda Civic for 400 pounds. When I went home to insure it, the insurance cost was 3,500 pounds. I could not afford to insure that car. So it ended up sitting around. I did some project stuff to it. I would temporarily insure it sometimes. I would be a bit cheeky and do things I shouldn't do sometimes. Don't do it, it's not worth it. My first legitimate year of insurance, I realized this trick and I found a very unusual car. I found a Renault Twingo GT, it was a 1.2, it had a little baby turbo, made 100 horsepower, and in London, I got an insurance price of 1,200 pounds on my first year with my license, with no no claims bonus, in Walthamstow, of all places. So find an unusual car. If you want a family car, maybe look into like a Citroen C4. If you're the 30 year old dude, don't get the Ford Mondeo. Look for something strange. Maybe an older Jaguar saloon car. You'd be surprised, even with the bigger engine, they're often cheaper to insure. And most importantly, if you're that young driver looking for their first car, 
just find something weird that not many people are driving because there won't be as many insurance statistics and therefore your insurance will be cheaper. If you wanted the absolute cheapest insurance and you just wanted to get on the road, Peugeot 108, still with the same one litre engine, 2,700 pounds. That is actually kind of a reasonable price in today's world for your first car. And this hasn't even got a name driver on it and all the other little tweaks that I've done. So you could actually get this even lower if you followed the rest of the guide. Now, say you didn't want to drive a Peugeot 108, you wanted something a little bit more fun. Convertible Mazda MX-5, a 21 year old in London in the worst area can insure this for 4,800 pounds. And again, this is without even doing all the other little tweaks like adding a name driver and all the other stuff I'm gonna mention in this video. Compare that to 5,800 for a Vauxhall Corsa. Now I'm not recommending anybody go and actually pay this to drive around in a 1.8 MX-5. I'm just showing you what a huge difference it can make. And if you extrapolate this towards your own situation, you can realize that actually you could drive a much nicer car for less money. This one I love because people think this is so exclusive to new drivers, but it's really not. Add a named driver to your policy. Doesn't matter who it is. It can be your mum, your dad, your spouse, your boss from work, a friend, anybody that's got a long history of driving and could reasonably drive your car at some point in the next year. This is completely legal and you will find it will slash your insurance cost because for whatever reason, when more people use a car, generally people are a bit more sensible with the car. All we're gonna do is add an extra driver. It's gonna be his mother. Her name is Cargo. And that brings us down to 4,800. We've slashed another 10% so again, if your insurance is a reasonable 800 pounds, you've just slashed it to 720. This one is really good too. Again, it can really work for literally anybody that's looking to insure a car. It doesn't have to be the young driver. And that is to rephrase your job. So say for example, there was a while back, I was an operations manager. I worked for a tech company. So what I did is rather than putting down operations manager tech, which had really high insurance premiums for whatever reason, I guess tech guys crash cars. I changed it to operations manager computer services. And for whatever reason, I remember that reduced my insurance premium by like 25%. I think it went down from 1.6 to 1.2. Huge saving for no reason. <laughs> tech and computer services is the same thing, but people just put down tech and then they miss out on huge savings on their car insurance. Now I've got one more and this one is a game changer. Make a new email address, install a brand new browser, clear all your cookies, go incognito mode and make a new account on the comparison website or insurance website that you're looking to get a quote on. There is a history of your details on these websites so they know when you're going to be looking to buy car insurance. Just do absolutely everything you can to have a fresh slate because it will give a cheaper premium. I pretty much guarantee one of these tips will reduce your premium if you do it correctly. Maximum points go to somebody who combine all the points together because they're really designed to all work together. If you can find a way to add all of these different points together, you will maximize how much you reduce your insurance by without doing anything illegal. So now you've got your insurance sorted out. Hopefully the video was useful and valuable. You should probably check out this video for some advanced driving tips that you can use in everyday driving.